All right, we are live. Hi everyone, I'm Grandmaster Magesh Panchanathan, and this is Kings and Queens Chess Academy's YouTube channel. And today we are going to be doing a fun chess kahoot. So I see um, in chat that you're already pretty excited about it. Um, pretty nice to have a good group of players ready and excited to go about this. I think the first thing I want to do is I want to give some um, background on what this is and uh, how, how we are going to do this for those who have not done it before or those who have done it before, I think you're probably in good shape. Um, but let me just give a brief introduction. Kahoot is basically a multiple choice question and answer and uh, it's just an interactive fun puzzle. I think a lot of kids have done it in school probably. Um, the way it's going to go is you will see the questions in my screen. That I'm sharing right now and you will have to select answer from your device and today's um, Kahoot theme is basically just puzzles and based on um, we did this a while ago for Halloween called trick or treat so we're going to do that set of puzzles today uh, trick or treat basically meaning that if you think you're going to win something then it's a treat if you think that when you win something you're going to lose something back it will be um, a trick. So just keep that in mind. That's what we're going to be doing today. Oh, Coach Valerie is here. Hi, everyone. Hi, Valerie. I see a lot of you. Um, if I don't see your chat per se, but just want to give a general wave at everyone. And Dinesh, I think, gave a shout out to um, Chess Base India and uh, Sagar Shah. That's right. We've been doing cahoots for a long time in classes, but we never really thought of doing one in, in the channel. And uh, I think this is pretty exciting. Let's go ahead and get started so you guys can actually join in. So the pin is going to come up. There it is. We got the music going. So that is the pin and that's the website. So you want to go to kahoot.it and you want to join in with the pin. Neil Summit is the first one. Okay, good.
are going to go to super minimal. Okay. Perfect. I didn't realize that Kahoot was coming in too much um, volume, but I'm glad for the feedback. All right, guys, I think we should be ready to start right now. So if someone is not in here, I have a second Kahoot, so hopefully we should be able to go to the second one too. Um, wait, this is, what, this is what we'll do. You have 90 seconds for the puzzle, and once the puzzle is done, I will explain the answers. Either I'll open chess base and do it, or if I will just kind of show you the answers with, with notation, whichever way uh, you guys prefer. If it's a little tricky, maybe the other way around. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started. Ayush wants to know what is the topic he just joined. Uh, the topic is pretty simple. You will have puzzles. It's going to say trick or treat. If it's a treat, that means you make a move, you win something and you don't lose anything back. It's a trick if you are going to win something, but something is coming back at you. So we did this as a theme for Halloween for trick or treat. And we are kind of using that today. Early Halloween for us. That's all it is. And uh, all right, let's let's get going. I'm going to start the puzzle right now. If you have not joined yet, you still will have a chance to join. Don't worry about it. All right, there you go. Are you ready? Trick or treat? Is it a trick or a treat? All right, so that's the position and it's white's turn. You can look at all white's options and decide. There is queen takes b7 trick, queen takes b7 treat, queen takes f5 trick, rook takes f6 trick. Since you have enough time, I would say take your time. Getting it right is more important. wants to do trick and treat so trick is if you're going to let's say queen takes b7 you think it's a bad move you capture something comes back at you that will become a trick a treat is basically you win something and you win it that's it that's a treat a trick is if you make that move but your opponent comes back at you with something so that's the only difference between trick and treat so keep that in mind you don't have to register Mahir you just have to log in you can go to kahoot.it and you can go use the pin in the bottom it's, it is a tricky one. It's not super easy. AP is saying this is a hard one. All right. Time is up. We got 45 answers and 15 of you found queen takes b7 to be a trick. Took a while. I started with probably a little bit challenging one. Maybe I should have started with something easy in, on second thoughts. Who can tell me why queen takes b7 is a trick? This was actually in one of my games against Alexander Shabalov. All right, Neil and AP are both giving the answer. Queen takes b7, um, runs into this really interesting move, bishop to d2. Look at the black bishop on h6, goes to d2. And the problem for black now is, um, uh, for white, is that the rook on h1 is under attack and queen e1 checkmate is also happening. So that's kind of very, very tricky. Uh, when I had this position, I, I, was, I almost fell for this. I mean, I didn't have the position right here. In my calculation, I was falling for this a few moves from before. I was like, oh, I'm getting a free pawn in this variation, yeah? Nope, it turns out to be a trick. Queen takes b7, does not work. So hopefully now it's clear for all of you what move is a trick and what move is a treat. So I have some easy ones and some difficult ones, so hopefully we can mix it up. All right, let's move on. All right, we got... Adrita is leading with 908 points. I like that. Okay, Manish 781 and Leon is at 809. I like this. All right, second question. Is it a trick or a treat? All right, it's Black's turn to play. You're looking at all Black's options. There is Queen takes h4, there is Knight g2, there is Knight e2, which is either a trick or a treat. get the answer 
right, you also want to get it fast. But the first priority is always make sure you get it right. That's more important. Okay, we've got 15 more seconds. Mahir, you can still play if you look at the bottom of the screen. Go to kahoot.it and join using the pin. You probably will miss out the first two questions, but you can still play Mahir. Go and join in as soon as possible. You would only miss two questions. You would start from then. So get going. I got 38 answers. All right, we are down to the last 10 seconds. If you have not answered, this is the time to make sure you put your answer in. Even if you don't know exactly, pick one. Don't leave it, don't leave it open. Actually, this one's not supposed to be very hard, <laughs> AP. I think this one was supposed to be meant to be easy. All right, let's, um, in 30 of you got this right as um, knight takes 90 to check is a simple, simple treat. Um, so let's go on. What happens is 90 to check, of course, is a fork winning the rook. But I, my whole point was I'm hoping that everybody, everyone looked at queen f7, which is the critical idea. Um, and you have to make sure that queen f7 doesn't do anything. Actually, it doesn't, right? Because queen goes to f7 for a check. The king just moves in to h8. And that's the end of it because any other check, the queen on h6 can just simply jump in and block. So no big deal. So knight e2 is a simple treat and you take the rook. This was also from my game. Okay, let's see. Let's see who is leading this one. Ooh, Manish has taken the lead. Alex equals Nemesis. Okay. Neil is still in there. Vedanta is the highest climber with 31 places. Okay, okay. All right, let's keep moving. Third position. Is it a trick or a treat? Yeah, there are 10 problems. All right, you have a simple two options, 50-50. Queen takes d5, is it a trick or is it a treat? Make sure you calculate your moves before you select the answers. Mahir, we added so much time because we were not sure about the lag. So we didn't want anyone to miss out on stuff because of the lag. So that's why we have a lot more time. And I see people are still answering, so I think the time is probably useful. Alright, we have 25 more seconds. Nagaraj, yes, you can still attend right now. By the way, it looks like all of you answered before the full allotted time. That's good. Those who just joined in and wants to join the game, you just go to kahoot.it and then you use the pin. You would have missed the first, I think we did three positions. This is the third position we just did. You would have missed the first three, but you would still have, um, you know, seven more positions to do. So it looks like a bunch of treat and a bunch of tricks. Interesting. Let's, let's just show this. Who wants to... Tell me why queen takes d5 is actually a trick. It doesn't, it's it's not good. You should not be doing queen takes d5. What does black have? Bishop f6. I think I can play rook to c, oh, rook c2. You have, um, I guess you have knight b4. That's your plan. The problem with bishop f6 is I might even sacrifice the exchange. I think most of you are pointing out knight to d4 is the right move. Yeah, knight to d4 is probably the move that you have to calculate. But after knight to d4, white has queen to c4. Then what? So queen takes d5, black goes knight to d4, and white has queen to c4. How would that win after that? That's right. Bishop a6 is what Neil is saying, but you cannot play bishop a6 directly. I'll just simply take it. 
my bishop on e2 is guarding it your knights on d4 so i'll be able to just capture it so the only move you have to do is knight captures e2 first let me see if i can open up this puzzle in in um chess base and maybe show it to you guys i don't know how this setup would be i'm going to try this really quick and try to put a board on top of this oh okay not bad it just popped up um so okay i can show this to you really quickly some of the tough puzzles i do want to show it for example queen takes d5 is the move we were talking about the problem with queen takes d5 of course you have to keep an eye on this but most importantly after knight d4 uh, queen c4 by the way i think bishop f6 was pointed out by neil which might be okay but i'm just worried that you know if i take a pawn like this i can just happily sacrifice well actually if i take the pawn i lose a piece um because bishop takes b2 to happen so maybe bishop f6 is uh, equally good so i think that looks good but i think the simplest option is to knight go here and after queen to c4 you just simply play knight takes e2 and the queen will have to capture and the final moves bishop a6 so clearly some of them are tricky like it, you pointed out in the stream it's uh, in the chat you have to calculate a little bit more all right now let's go back and let's see who who's on the leaderboard neil has gotten to the top but it's pretty close i think it's about 50 points left leon is in there neil verma is here nice um and yep elon musk is the highest climber nice okay moving on if you have not joined in yet this is still a good chance to join in we still have um a few positions left so that's the link go to kahoot.it and then the pin is this one that will help you join all right let's go on to the fourth position is it a trick or a treat queen takes f4 is it a trick or a treat This is not a difficult one. I think me saying that probably helped a little bit because most of you are already wondering if that's a tricky one or not a tricky one. Uh, Nagaraj, you want the link? It's basically just kahoot.it. Just go here and type in the pin. Queen takes f4. Is it a trick or a treat? Looks like Phantoms has messed it up. Shriram, did you not get it right? Maya said it's too easy. Maybe this one for 90 seconds is a little too long. But hopefully I want everyone to get it right. My goal is to have every single one of you get it right. I want a full 100% score on this one. AP, yeah, absolutely. Uh, anytime Sagar calls me, I would be more than happy to jump in and do it. I know there's a really good one coming up. Stani is doing the Trikistan one. Ooh, okay, I'm going to come back to that and talk about it in just a second. I was hoping this was an easy one. I still see um, my bad. Did I set this up wrong? Queen takes f4 is supposed to be a trick. I know you're all going to kill me, so... <laughs> Please don't kill me. I just might have got this completely <laughs> mixed up when I selected the answer. Okay. Um, that kind of messed it up. Okay. It's totally on, on me. So the way we're going to do the math is whatever points you have who got this one wrong because you chose queen takes f4 as a, as a, as a trick, I'm going to add like 900, 900 points flat. Uh, the whole idea is queen f4 is of course a trick because knight g4 and it's unstoppable main on h2. The only way to stop it is queen takes g4. So that's why I saw, thought this was easy. But um, yeah, my bad guys. I should have probably paid attention to this. I was checking and double checking but somehow I missed this. So the leaderboard is going to be a little messed up right now. Uh, but so those who actually got this wrong <laughs> are actually going to be in the in the top which is a little tricky. All right, I think it's still fun. Let's go on, let's still see this. In the end, you'll have to be honest enough to accept if you made a mistake in this question or no. So that'll be easier for, for us. 
All right, moving on. Let's do five more positions. Is it a trick or a treat? So queen to d3 trick, queen to d3 treat, bishop to f4 trick, bishop to f4 treat. How to stop chat message trolling? Surendra, I actually don't know. I'm pretty new to some of these things, so unfortunately I don't know. Sorry about it. We have 45 more seconds, we're about halfway through. Sai is asking, are we doing more than one Kahoot? Yeah, we could do another one. I was planning to do two, depending on how fast or slow we go, and depending on what you guys want. So let's do this one, and then see um, where we are, and decide to do if you want to do the second one. Aditya says he wants one more. Sure. Hame. I see you. Five seconds left. If you're not answered, this is the time to click one really quick. Let's go. Make sure you get all your answers in. Okay, bishop to f4 trick was only given by one. A bunch of you said queen to d3 treat. By the way, just to clarify, queen to d3 is neither a treat nor a trick. I think I'll simply play queen out. But let's actually figure out why bishop to f4, which looks like a very strong move. I'm hoping that's what you should have all started by calculating because there is a pin on the queen. So obviously bishop f4 is a move you should look at. That's the first choice. Why is bishop f4 a trick? That's the question. Okay, I'm getting the answer of queen c6. That's right, right? When you make moves like this, you have to look at counterattacks. Queen goes to c6 and suddenly black is threatening checkmate and you will end up losing your bishop. So you, you look at simple tactics, you always have to look at comebacks. And that's the reason why queen d3 is also neither a trick or a treat because black will simply play queen c6 and then move the bishop. So it seems like that's just an even even move. But bishop f4 is, is a trick. Okay, AP says he chose queen to d3, but um, queen to d3 is neither a trick nor a treat. <laughs> so I know that's a little bit. So he's saying queen d3 is also a trick. I guess you can call it a trick because you were thinking of winning something and you didn't. But I'm th looking at trick as more as something you went in to win and you end up losing kind of a thing. So... All right, let's see. Mahati is on top too. Nice, okay. Cosmic Fire God is doing good. The tough round. Three players lost their answer streak of three. Oops, okay. Moving on, position six. Is it a trick or a treat? Bishop h7, is it a trick or a treat? It should not be very difficult if you just are able to calculate a little bit. forcing moves look for comebacks okay so those who just came in you can still join in you probably have only a few positions left I think there'll be like four left go to kahoot.it and then you can join in using the pin in the bottom of the screen and it will still let you join in you'll be able to answer the questions that are uh, remaining we got 40 seconds Four answers. Somehow I've not figured out a way to see how many players are playing in total. It just keeps giving me the leaderboard. I wish Kahoot will give me the total number of players who are um, who are playing. Chessology says he has a chess YouTube channel. He has good content. Chessology, I'll be happy to check it out. And if I like it, I'll be happy to recommend to others too. Absolutely. Um, okay, so it says Bishop takes h7 trick, and I still see these splits. You should all know what is going on. Let's see who can tell me. E-tier master, 
also says he has a YouTube channel and he will start making content. That's good. Ayush is telling me why this is bad. And Manish and Neil, all of them, good. Bishop h7 check. Looks like a great move because you pick up the queen. But as soon as you pick up the queen, black has a follow-up move. Knight to d3 check. And then I pick up the queen right back. You just end up losing a bishop. And just as a rule of thumb, um, the only thing you need to figure out to figure out if it's a trick or a treat is find out what is really good for you in this position or in a certain position and then check for a forcing move right at the end of it for your opponent. Right? You finish a combination. So bishop h7 check, king h7, queen e5 is the end of the combination. And then at the end of that, you look for one more move to say, oh, what would black do? Him is also pointing out bishop h7 and a lot of others are pointing out knight d3. That's right. Knight d3 is the comeback. And that's why this is a trick. You cannot capture that queen. Okay, okay. Neil is back. Technically, he should be above. Also, might have lost his streak because of that. All because of me. Position seven. Is it a trick or a treat? This position brings very painful memories for me. I was at the receiving end of one of the <laughs> one of the sites. White to play. Bishop takes f7 a trick or a treat. Yeah, I don't know if I can do that in live. I want, I'll want. i definitely take a look at your um, channel, but I probably will have to do it first before I put it in the live thing. So I'm sorry about it, but um, let's do the Kahoot this time and then we'll figure the rest of that later, okay? Ethereum Master says, oops, misclick. Oops, you had only two options, Ethereum. You have to be careful. We have the last 15 seconds. By the way, are we all having a big lag? I gave 90 seconds because of the lag. I didn't know how, how bad the lag was going to be. Usually we have about six to eight seconds, but yesterday I think we experienced some, experienced some lag and I decided to not take a chance. Okay, we got 19 to 24 still. Come on, let's get this closer and closer to all the right answers, okay? So bishop takes f7 is, wait, did I give it as a treat? Yep. I didn't mess it up. <laughs> I was just checking to make sure that I didn't mess this up. Unfortunately, like I mentioned, I was in the receiving end of this game. I was playing black uh, against an international master. I forgot his name. He's a strong player. I should not have. Um, but anyways, he he played this really... I mean, I played a little passive and I got into this position where he was able to sacrifice his queen for a rook and a minor piece, but totally dominating the position. You see the two rooks, the bishop, all in good place. But... Right around this time, I started getting comfortable saying, you know what? Oh, I can probably get a better position. My knight will go to f4. You know, I, I'm slowly getting out. Bishop e6, I'll start trading. My queen will eventually like win the game, stuff like that. And I played king g8 to h7 so fast. I was probably already in a very difficult situation here. But bishop takes f7 is crushing. After queen takes f7, g6 check, and it's game over. Yeah, it's a simple tactic. Nothing special going on. Uh, like I said, to see if there's a comeback, this is what you need to do. Bishop f7, queen f7 g6 queen g6 after rook g6 you look for a forcing move for black does black have a comeback that's it there's nothing so once you realize that there's no comeback uh queen g6 rook g6 that's that's basically the end of it um that end game is just really bad for black is going to be down a pawn and then i mean black white still dominating all right so let's go to the leaderboard So in the end, I still have to calculate. Manish, I know, probably got that answer of trick or treat wrong. One of them wrong. So I don't know if Mahati got that wrong. If that's the case, they might switch. So um, Neil says you don't win anything. Don't you win a pawn, Neil? Actually, yeah, you don't really win a pawn. But the thing is, you win the queen back, yeah? You are down a queen for a rook and a bishop. I know you have a dominating position. What you're doing is you're basically winning the queen back for a rook and bishop. So I think that would count as... Um, a treat. <laughs> we call it a treat. Okay. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज इट अ ट्रिक और अ ट्रीट एफ टेक्स जी फोर इज इट अ ट्रिक और अ ट्रीट होपली दिस इज नॉट सो डिफिकल्ट आई वॉन्ट यू टू थिंक अबाउट इट जस्ट लुक फॉर द रिस्पॉन्स फ्रॉम यूर ओपोनेंट एंड कैलकुलेट इट आई वॉन्ट ऑल ऑफ यू टू गेट दिस राइट If you capture the knight, you look for black's forcing moves, and if you think that it's dangerous or if you have a problem, then you can definitely calculate and figure it out. seconds remaining just calculate to see after f takes g4 does black have anything that's forcing that white cannot stop or it cannot deal with i just realized i've probably taken a lot of these from my games this is also my game <laughs> it's it's been almost a year since i created some of these puzzles so i couldn't remember exactly but the games are coming back okay last 8 seconds let's go Neil, Nahar, I'm sorry, I don't know um, how much lag you're having, but hopefully you can still still have enough time to answer. Um, hmm, most of you thought it's a trick. Interesting. F takes g4 is actually a treat because after, well, I play knight f3 or knight g4 doesn't matter. And Manish is saying queen c2. That's right. You have queen to c2 or queen to d2, guarding the whole second rank. Right. Um, Akanksha is pawning out rook to b2. Yeah, possible. Maybe rook to b2 is also possible. I would probably go for queen because I want to bring my queen in for a trade. Uh, but I'm totally fine with rook to b2 as well. So I think uh, the whole the, another reason why you might figure this one out um, in the future to think about is that actually white has no other good moves. Um, you you basically have to take the knight. I'm going to play knight takes f3 anyways. Otherwise, right? You cannot really play rook f1, so you might as well just take the um, knight. So pawn takes knight, and after knight captures g4, you simply play queen to d2. Or after pawn takes knight, knight goes to f3 check. You play bishop takes f3, queen takes f3, and still play queen to d2. So I took this piece and went on to win this game. I was hoping this would be the other way around. F takes g4 is a treat. Okay, Vedanta is climbing up. Five players have. Reached answer streak three. Okay, we have two more if I remember right. Let's go. Is it a trick or a treat? White can play knight to c5. It should not be very difficult to spot this, guys. This is an easy one. Just calculate to see what black can do, and then you will be able to decide if you have anything. Is knight to c5 a trick or a treat? Played with Murji Murli Karthik in Astrology. That's nice. He's a very good player. I have. Um, I don't think I've ever played with Murli. Um, I just watch him play the Blitz games and other games these days online. I mean, everyone is strong. SL Narayan is very strong. All the young generation, I think they're very good. I would call them young generation because I think I consider myself in the old generation. AP wants to know who is the highest rated I ever played. I have the biggest honor of uh, defeating Karwana, so I'm going to stick to that and live with that forever. So <laughs> I've played him only once, and I defeated him when he was about 2670. Not like he was complete baby, you know, like most people take credit for. Him. So, but he's such a great guy, he's such a great player, and um, it was not even an actual tournament. It was like a real of his team tournament that I won. I was quite happy about it. By the way, just 10 seconds left. If you're not answered, this is the time to make sure you select something and go for the answer. Don't miss that. Nice. Ooh. I keep thinking that we got it the other way around. Every single time I think <laughs> the answer is lesser than the non-answers. I think we need to fix this. NC5 is a trick because black has a very strong response. It looks like a simple fork. Because the queen is pinned, bishop cannot capture the knight because of the queen capturing the queen. But knight to c5 runs into what? You can tell me on chat. I 
I think it's a trick or a treat. Um, Yatir is saying it's not really a trick or a treat. It's actually a trick. You're going to lose material if you play knight c5. Manish is saying rook e1. Rook e1 is actually not bad, but there is another move. There is another simpler move, I believe. Queen b5. Ninad is suggesting queen to b5. That's right, Ninad. Queen to b5 will be not only a counter pin on the knight, will also hit the rook on f1. Again, forcing moves, forcing moves. You will always have to look for forcing moves. Checks, captures, and threats, right? So when you do checks, captures, and threats, you will automatically be able to tell the difference. So you play knight to c5. There are no checks or captures, but queen to b5 is a very strong threat because it's a checkmate threat. So you have to see that, right? All right, so moving on. Dinesh has climbed up. I like that. We have uh, 5,509. But Manish is kind of running away with Manish and Mahati. I believe they've also done some of this before. But still, credit to remembering some of these things and doing it. Lots of our students have seen this. Abhi is 5377. I'm not sure who this Abhi is. It's Oh, it's Abhi Yerua, maybe. Um, good. So we are going in for a tight finish for the top. I think only 300 points. But I think this... Third, is, third place is what this fight will go with. Let's go for the last question. Question 10 of 10. Is it a trick or a treat? All right. You can do knight b x d5 as a treat. Knight b x d5 as a trick. Bishop x d5 as a trick. Bishop x d5 as a treat. I'll give you a small back um, information also. In general, you have to think about compensation kind of stuff too. So I know we are doing tactically most, but I think this one might have more like the best move situation. Sorry, it's saying I'm the, you were the only answer at some point, yeah? Maybe you should have taken more time, Sai. This, by the way, was very interesting because this is the game that I played against my wife, Women, Women Fide Master um, Anuprita Patil, and I was playing black. I think this, like, we played a couple of games. She crushed me in a blitz game once, I think, or a rapid game, I don't remember. And then I, I got her back in this one. So we have one one tie, and I think that's good. It should be good for our marriage. All right, super easy, they say. Okay, eight seconds left. I want all of you to finish getting this. Two, one. Good, I at least got a bunch of answers coming in. Um, knight B takes D5 is a treat. And uh, Aditya says he mouse slipped. Okay, um, it's a free pawn. You could definitely capture. Uh, I think there's only one case that's a little ambiguous. You, could, you can actually take the pawn with bishop too. You don't immediately lose material, but I think you run into some, some trouble. I'll, we'll talk about it really quick. So the only thing you need to see with knight d5 is um, what happens if white plays knight takes d5, yeah? Are you just asking bishop d5? Actually, let me see if I can load the board for this one. It might be useful. Because this one gets a little bit more tricky than the other ones. Okay, there it is. Oops. Load previous game. Oh no. Okay, somehow I lost it. Let's pull it back. Okay, there it is. So I'm going to try to load this quickly. All right, you guys can all see this one now. Very good. So. You could play bishop takes d5, um, some of you are asking, but let me just show you why knight takes d5, of course, is correct first. So knight takes d5, uh, so now what will we do? So if we do knight takes d5, the actually here you could still play knight takes d5 or bishop takes d5, both still survives. Uh, but I would probably prefer this. The reason why this works is because bishop takes f6, then you can simply take, and you're actually hitting this rook. So every attack you're coming up with some kind of counter, right? So... And also, knight takes d5 is still possible because bishop e4, which is supposed to be the strong move that you're supposed to think about, runs into what move? Can anyone tell me what black can do here after bishop e4? So 
same ideas of trick and treat. What should black do here after bishop 2? e4. Knight e3. I'm getting knight e3. Very good. Right? You play knight takes e3 and then you can end up winning the bishop back. So the point is you could do either bishop d5 or knight d5 after taking here. Now Ayush was asking why not bishop takes d5. That's very much possible. By the way, I'm getting knight takes e3 in the chat now, but um, I'm moving on with bishop takes d5. It's actually possible. Um, I just think it will be very bad. Like, for example, if I play something like a3, um, I mean, this is not technically losing or anything, like, because I do have bishop takes f3, queen takes f3, and then I'll have to go back knight a6. I just think this position is bad for black. <laughs> it's not necessarily losing. I'm not a big fan of um, this overall. So... That was good. Moving on to see who the winner from this one was. But I might have to recalibrate for that one mistake that I did. Going to the podium. Ooh, we got Abhi in third place with 7 out of 10. Okay. And we got Mahati in second place and looks like Manish in first place. Good job. Good job, all of you. And those who missed out. Alex Nemesis is 4 and Dinesh is 5. Uh, there could have been a swing in that one mistake um, that I had in the Kahoot. So, that was that was fun. Now, um, some of you are asking for another one. I'm going to leave it up to you guys. You can tell me if you want to do another one. I would be happy to do one. We have one more of the same trick-or-treat theme that we could do. Hopefully, without any mistake in that one. Uh, Adrita came in 6. Adrita, I know you were kind of leading this early on, right? And then you came in 6. That's okay. Alright, so... Easier another one. Uh, Ayush, I cannot change what I've already put in. So I have a, I have created a Kahoot. So I won't be able to change it, really. Um, so let's... Just... Um, yeah, I think this difficulty level might be just similar. Nothing, nothing special, so... Um, I, I think most of you are just saying yes, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Um, so this is, okay, let's do trick or treat 2. Ooh, I don't want you to see the positions. So I'm going to start the play here and then bring it back in here. That's better. How many codes are we doing? We were planning to do one or two. Um, I started with one. We're done with it. Now we're going to do one more because pretty much most of you want to do the second one. I will try to go, um, you know, depending on how we do, fast or slow. Let's just figure it out as we go. I see people are joining pretty quickly. I like that. So if someone did not get to play the full first code, here is your chance. Make sure you go to this website. Kahoot.it and then go to this and then enter this pin. We have done, I've done the same. I think I've given the same, um, what should I say? 90 seconds, I think. 90 seconds would still give you enough chance to look at the positions and answer. So, we've got 54 players in. Wait, what on earth is this? Someone is trying to spam this by getting in multiple. F Y B D R X P P Y one. I might have to kick you out. What are you doing? Are you trying to get in ten logins so you can have a better chance at winning? Someone's nickname, nickname is Money Magnus Paulson. Let me see. I have to look for the best kind of name. Ooh, Siri thinks I'm talking to her. No, Siri, I'm not. Let's put that down. Okay. What do we have? Okay, I'm... Okay, someone has to stop this. What do we do? Guys, we're doing this for fun for everyone. Don't ruin it for everyone. Do not ruin it for everyone. I really don't know how to deal with this.
All right, I'm gonna take the effort to kick them all. It's gonna take me some time. Someone clearly is very mature here. If I kick someone else in the meantime, Got some spammers going on here. I could make a new one, but we're gonna have the same problem. Clearly, someone is spamming this, and uh, we really need to deal with that. Yeah, I don't know how exactly we can do with that. a way to not see this. You had two-step verification. How do I do that? Okay, hold on. Let's go back to Kahoot and see. I'm going to cancel this game like most of you have said. I just got out of that. I'm sorry, people. I think we clearly had some issues. So give me a minute to see if I can change anything in the settings to make it better against anyone who's doing random stuff like this. Um, I don't know how to ban this person from, um, um, I don't know how to ban someone from Kahoot guys. I'm unfortunately, um, not familiar with that. So I don't know how we can do that. Yeah, I can put a maximum, but even that is not a clear thing. Kahoot is not giving me an option to set a maximum number of players. Let's see. I'm going to get check this for a couple of minutes if we don't have this unfortunately have to stop this here i don't see any other way to do it because i think opening a new kahoot is not going to do much um there is no two-step verification in this i don't know how i can do that let me actually you know what there is a two-step verification you're right let's let's see if i can do that and if that will help i know some of you pointed that to me so let's say done, trick or treat, play, teach, game options, two step join. Okay, good. I'm going to try the two step join and see if that changes anything, okay? stop it as soon as you guys join in so why don't you all join in and I will try to close this as soon as we do that mm. 
No, I think Neil, what they do is they probably write a script. This is not someone sitting down and adding in. Someone's just writing a script to hack into Kahoot. So I guess that's why it's a little unfortunate. But it's, I've created a two-step join. So okay, looks like it hasn't changed. I think these are all random names. I'm sorry, guys. I think we'll have to we'll have to stop this um, until we figure out. <laughs> particular issue I've locked the game um, so because I didn't want someone else to join in so we unfortunately cannot continue this uh, that's kind of unfortunate I'll have to go back and look at Kahoot to see um, what is the best way to deal with this I'm gonna turn this volume off because Luckily, we got the first game in without any of this problem, which is good. Um, but the second one, we, we just can't go about this. Someone is clearly hacking hacking this um, in the sense someone's write, running a script to just join through the verification. So, and it's just adding unlimited number of people. Um, yeah, I'm I'm sorry that we we're not able to do that. I think. Uh, I'm I still feel lucky that we got the first one in <laughs> it would have been a disaster if this random person had done that in the first first shot it's funny I still see people joining in even though I locked it <laughs> um, Dinesh says he has an idea I guess uh, we we will we will try it I don't want to run it right now Aditya because I think it's just going to be some random person like you know doing random things and we don't want to do that um, I, I'm just going to probably stop this here. We did one Kahoot, it was fun, and we'll try to schedule another one. But before I do the next schedule to do another one, I will um, absolutely try to look into this. Uh, the screenshot is just names. I don't think the names will make much of a difference um, of, of these people. They're just, you know, all random names, as you can see. They're just probably generated through dots and, you know, underscores, and, you know, they're just trying to get in as quickly as possible. Um, so yeah, uh, I, I guess we're going to wrap it up here, um, everyone. I'm, I'm sorry about it. If you have any questions, um, you can type it in chat. I'll be happy to hang around and answer a little bit. If not, we'll just wrap this one up. Uh, if you've not subscribed to our channel, please do. We are planning to add more and more content. We are planning to do more and more live stream. And um, like I said, there is a good one coming up with uh, Grandmaster Stani um, in Chess Base India. And he's doing this beautiful series called Tricky Stan, which is pretty cool. You guys uh, should see that. And um, there are, um, there's also lots of others who have been looking at this uh, Kahoot option as well. They might figure it out. But now that we have faced this problem, I think the first step is to make sure we deal with this before we do any other shows with Kahoot. All right. Anyway, so it was uh, fun, all of you. I will see you in the next one. We have lots of chess events coming up in our chess academy. I just want to give a quick shout out to everyone. That is, next week we have a major camp called Mastermind Camp with four Grandmasters. It will be me, Grandmaster Arun Prasad, Grandmaster Julio Sadora, Grandmaster Elshan Maradia Bari. So four of us will be teaching a camp called Mastermind Camp, which is for only players over 1500. So it's a very strong camp. We already ran one of that. It's, it's really good. If you're interested, you can, you know, shoot me an email. Uh, it's Magesh at ChessKQ. I'll also put it, put that on chat. We also have regular camps and we have chess beginner workshops, chess for teens, lots of interesting programs. If anyone is learning chess or wanting to play chess, you Kings and Queens Chess Academy, we have a lot of options. We also have a tournament at 2 o'clock. And I'm going to quickly post a link if anyone is interested in playing a tournament. It's a price money tournament, so you do have to sign up. Um, but if you sign up, you can log into chess.com. I mean, chess.com and play in it. So I'm just posting that link. If you go online to our link, you'll be able to um, click on the tournament, register for a tournament, and play on a tournament. So we have, um, like I said, lots of interesting things coming in. All right. With that said, I guess um, time to say goodbye. Hope you all have a, a good rest of your Sunday. I will see you all next when we figure out a solution for this. Thank you. Bye.